What you guys got another video here for you a while ago i was asked to make a video on c cleaner i sort of put it off for a while because there's been quite a lot of videos done on c cleaner um, but someone asked me to do an in-depth view of it and i thought i'd make this quick video so let's have a a good in-depth look at uh, c cleaner itself how to set it up and how to set up a schedule task and maybe run it in silent mode as well so let's get started so the first uh, place you can get it from is piriform uh, they've got the Specky program there, Recover, Defragler, and also they've got CCleaner, which is this free tool you can download that cleans all the crap off your system, i.e. temp files, history, cookies, autocomplete, and index.dat, and loads more uh, other areas that will clean up. So let's have a look at the program itself. Okay, so here we have the actual uh, interface, pretty straightforward really. You've got four tabs down the side with some other tabs inside these tabs. So we're going to look at CCleaner first itself, or the cleaner I should say, and we're going to go into the actual Windows area here, and this is normally all set by default apart from down the bottom, where you can add these extra ticks in to add these functions into clean. So we're going to go through these a little bit. As you can see here, Internet Explorer, it will clean all the temporary internet files, history, cookies, and so on, index.dat files, I'm not going to go through each individual one of them because it would be forever but um, pretty much they're self-explanatory they're safe to put ticks in these it will clean off all this history from these locations a uh, word of caution here for white free space this is cleaning all the slack space on the drive and uh, this will normally be disabled by default but if you put the tick in it will add some considerable amount of time to your cleaning process depending on the size of your drive and also uh, whether you've got secure overwrites or deletes on that drive and we'll cover that a little bit further in the video. So I'm going to leave, leave this ticked off for now. Also you've got the applications area here and you can add more applications in here. There's some plugins that you can add in to add these uh, extras in if you wish. You've got Firefox here, also Google Chrome. Depending on the browsers that you've got loaded up on your system this will actually load them up into this little area here and you can just put your ticks in. Now if you want to save your passwords and stuff for your browser then you want to leave these ticks out otherwise it's going to delete all these passwords and information that's stored inside the browser. I'm going to go to the registry here now I'm not a really great fan of registry cleaners but um, this one's really sort of uh, just deletes any de dead keys or anything like that but I'm still very cautious about using these types of things but this one's not too bad it's not too invasive it's not a deep cleansing sort of registry cleaner and also it's not uh, a tweaking sort of uh, optimization sort of registry tools that you see out on the internet somewhere there's tons of them out there and they've been going for years these types of things and they've made a lot of money from it uh, personally I leave it well alone unless I really have to use a cleaning registry cleaning tool um, but as you can see if you did do a scan of it what will happen is it will ask you to do a backup of the registry and I would suggest that you actually do that when you do this uh, fix issues this is the moment it will ask you for to make a backup of the registry and I would always say yes here just in case something went wrong okay so let's move on to the tools tab again pretty much most of this stuff is built into Windows anyway but um, if you want to use it through here then you can do uninstaller pretty much does what it says on the tin you can uninstall programs from here and also rename entries and delete entries from here as well also a nice little feature is adding the uh, save text file to here and this will make a full list of all your programs into a text format so you can actually if yours format in this uh, machine uh, it would f take a full list of all the programs that are installed so let's have a look at this as you can see here list all your programs in a big list and you could uh, reinstall those programs because you'd have a list of them okay so have a look at the startup tab here pretty much you can do this in MS config but this is a nice little uh, feature it's all built into the program where you can actually disable it delete it or enable it for all, all from this location okay and again you can save the text file of what's in here Internet Explorer 
this is all the extensions area and uh, help and stuff like that you can also again disable or delete or enable from here and schedule tasks as well system restore will list all your system restore points inside here I have mine disabled because um, I make mirror images of my drive so I don't need system restore as much really and also drive wipe up which is another awesome little feature for this little free program um, what you can do here is wipe the free space only of the drive and you can select C or D or any other drive partitions you've got and you can do overwrites to that drive and clean it secure it will wipe the free space um, and as you can see here we've got one pass three passes seven passes and 35 passes these are normally called like Dodd NSA and Gutman um, but again this is going to add time to the cleaning process and if if you've got a massive drive and you're doing 35 passes you could be there some considerable amount of time okay and also you've got to consider the amount of wear and tear to the drive um, because of the amount of overwrites and passes and how long it's it's asking uh, to, to do this uh, job on the drive there's also another feature here called entire drive it will erase all the data will be erased on that drive partition now obviously it won't let you select the C drive here um, but it will let you um, do the D drive and you just do a wipe on it and it will actually wipe this D drive and again you can do a clean pass of it so if you wanted to wipe a partition securely and you've been having data, sensitive data on there i.e. documents and stuff then you could do that by just doing a quick wipe on this drive like so okay let's have a look at the options tab here and uh, we're going to go through here settings pretty much self-explanatory really run C cleaner when the computer starts uh, you can just put a tick in there if you wish I don't have that running and also um, automatically check for updates it's not a bad way of uh, letting the machine do its thing and it will update it automatically behind the scenes this is an area here secure deletion is very careful you gotta be here if you wanna um, be overwriting data when you're wiping it now you gotta be careful because if you include certain folders and files which we'll be talking about a little bit further down here and you're wiping these areas and you wanted to recover that or maybe you deleted something through your recycle bin uh, and you've been doing three passes or seven passes or something like that of overwrites chance of you getting that data back is very slim unless you sent it off to a, a lab and paid a lot of money for it so be very careful when you select this feature by default it should be set, set, uh, set to uh, faster which is uh, just a normal mode but when you start putting a secure deletion on free passes pretty much when it's gone it's gone and it's going to be very difficult to get that back and if you do retrieve it it'll be pretty damaged so if it was a photo it'd be uh, all bits missing and all sorts of stuff and uh, some of them actually rename folders and times and stuff like that so it'll be very very difficult to recover uh, wipe um, alternate date streams and also wipe cluster tips the same thing again really it will add time to the actual cleaning process depends on how paranoid you are really and the wipe the MFT free space so uh, let's move on down cookies you can save cookies you can um, remove cookies from the deletion list and keep those so if you wanted to keep a certain uh, login details maybe you wanted a uh, keep some login details it won't delete those from there maybe forums stuff like that it will actually save these and won't delete them from your um, cookie list okay uh, includes uh, again you can include areas that you wish to clean ie drives or folders or files um, all files file types example you can name whatever you want or wish to name in here and also change the options to include files only include files and subfolders also include files subfolders and the folder itself this will delete absolutely everything whatever you list in here now pretty much if I went into the C root directory and went down to temp folder and I used this as my download folder it would actually wipe everything out of it every single time okay and if it was just a temporary download that I like to use that's what it's going to be wiping inside there okay okay so let's have a look at the exclude it's the opposite to include it's just basically gonna exclude stuff so if you had a particular folder somewhere that you wanted to make sure that it never got touched um, you could add that to the exclusion list 
and uh, you can also do registry keys here as well okay um, pretty much uh, files uh, drive and folder and stuff like that pretty much self-explanatory really but you can add that into this list here by clicking on the add button and you can also edit it as well let's have a look at the advanced tab pretty much um, again I only touch a couple of little things in here which were these top two here or the one slightly down from the top only delete files in a temp folder older than 24 hours I like to remove this tick because I and this tick I don't want these left in because if there was stuff on the system and infection say for argument's sake and I was cleaning out the temp folder the last thing I want to do is leave stuff that's uh, older than 24 hours only delete stuff that's older than 24 hours it might have only happened six hours ago and by leaving this tick in it will leave that file on the system I want to take everything out of that system completely I want to empty the whole folder okay it's only a temporary area there's nothing of importance that's why it's called a temp folder so that's how I'll set that up you can also save your any file here and this will save all your uh, settings that you've set it up as so if you want to save it this is the tick to put it into inside here okay and you've got your restore to defaults settings factory settings that's basically that program in a nutshell there uh, you can just analyze and run the cleaner but if you wanted to set up a scheduled task I'll show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward I'm gonna come down to the start of the all button here I'm just gonna type task gonna click on the actual task scheduler we need to do here is come down to create a basic task which is here on the right hand side click on this just put in here C cleaner um, like so and then you put a description in click next pick your trigger day i.e. daily weekly monthly one time whatever you want to do here if we just said weekly I'm gonna click on next and then you can click which day you wish let's just say Sunday for this and uh, you can pick your start and finishing times I'm gonna go next here action you wanna put this to start program again uh, you need to have the path here and the path would, would be this location here that's the actual uh, path that's inside the programs folder and to add this one in add arguments we're gonna forward slash auto and this is what that's gonna do it's gonna automatically start go next and you're gonna say yes to this and that's gonna add that in there okay we can open up properties dialogs box for this task when it's finished if you wish you can put that tick in there like so and that will do that for you and then we're gonna click finish this is gonna open up the next tab here which is the general tab again um, what you can do here is put run with highest privileges I would suggest you do that uh, so there's no issues and then that will uh, do that you've got the hidden tab here and also if you go through the tabs here action uh, conditions you can set up some conditions here if you wish um, start the task only if the computer is in idle for this amount of time you can also do the wake the computer up and run this task now if you set your uh, laptop or your computer to sleep mode and stuff like that and it's time for this to run then if by having this ticking it will wake the PC up and then run that uh, scheduled task that you set it if you leave this off it won't run it and it will skip it okay so that's entirely up to you whether you set that and uh, as you can see here there's some other stuff you can go through I mean you can go through this with a fine tooth comb yourself so I'm not going to um, dwell on it too much so you can see that's now been set up and ready to roll I'm going to delete this because I don't need it set up and that's how you can delete them as well so basically if you wanted to set this and run this that's how you would do it now if you wanted to run um, a site in silent mode and set it to a hotkey you can do that by right clicking on the desktop somewhere and uh, go new uh, shortcut and then you would put inside here um, the shortcut name so I'm going to go browse here and all you need to do is go to the location of the actual application itself um, it's in programs files I'm going to go down you can see C cleaner here and you can select which one you'd wish um, we're going to do this one 
And once you've done that, you want to put space forward slash auto, like so, and then go next. And then you can see it's called uh, the shortcut name will be whatever you named it there. I'm just going to remove this executable part and we're going to call it auto. I'm going to call it that finish. And now you can see the actual icon on the desktop here. And when you click this, you can see it running down in the tray there. It's running in silent mode. When I click on that icon, you can see it running down the bottom here. And if you wanted to, you can actually change the properties on this and set this up to a shortcut key, i.e. if you wish, you can make it uh, whatever you like really, uh, F1. So when you push F1, it will actually run and uh, run that application. Now you may be prompted with the uh, UAC, um, but pretty much you just say yes to that, but you can disable that or make a, an exception for that and it will let it go straight through and run silently. And that's pretty much it really. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. We've pretty much exhausted everything we can on C Cleaner there. And uh, I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button. Also, rate and favorite me videos. And uh, I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again. Bye for now.